Hey everyone, welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours. Thank you for joining me today here on the channel. Today, I'm in Novi, Michigan at the Novi Home Show, and we are going to take a look at a very affordable single wide built by Dutch Housing. So, let's hop on outside, because I'm going to try to tell you all about this lovely little home. Here it is, everybody. This is the last home here on display at the Novi Home and Garden Show out in Novi, Michigan. And I have had a great time being out here up north. I'm from Southern California, so the weather was different. Everything was nice. People were great up here. But let's talk about this home right here. Uh, this one was brought to us by Yes Communities, and it is known as the Dutch Aspire. 1676H32090. Now, this is, of course, built by Dutch Housing, which is owned by Champion Homes, and this is a three bed, two bath that sits at 1,153 square feet. The dimensions of this home is about 76 feet by 16 feet. And the starting price of this one really surprised me, and I think it'll surprise you too. Even for a small single wide, this one starts at $48,000. Three bed, two bath, $48,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? Yep, like I said, this home goes for $48,000. Of course, this is a price point home, so looking inside, we've got seven and a half foot sidewalls with board and batten walls. Nice VOG look here. We have um, can lighting all around the place. But hey, before we really get going, do me a favor, do the channel a favor, hit that like button. That always helps out this, the channel one, it helps this video get out to more people. And YouTube wants to see that. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. That way, you'll see these home tours as soon as I post them. But take a look. The size of this living room, everybody, 15 feet, 10 inches by 14 feet, 2 inches. And one thing I do like about this home is they have left you a little bit of room for a uh, dining area in the middle of the home, which that's not too bad. That's not too shabby there. I like that because, of course, in a single wide, you don't have much room for a dining area so i like what they've done there and look at this backsplash look at the wall look at the uh, countertop it's nice i love the black uh color here we've got a dual stink sink with a standard faucet but i mean take a look at the wall there i love that little brick look it kind of breaks up the home gives you some 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 views really um taking a look around we're spinning around we have an eat-in counter that seats for about two people so if you didn't want to use that dining room area there you could always use that depending on how many people live in your home. Um, taking a look at the storage capabilities here, we have plenty, and this home is set up with the black appliance package, but of course in the ordering process, you get to choose if you want stainless steel or white, whatever would look best for this home, really. And taking a look inside, we have some nice cabinetry in here, plenty of storage, plenty of room. There's all the cleaning utensils they use to make sure this home was perfect for everybody coming in and taking a look. But I mean, I love the uh, the style. I love the white on black on brick kind of look. Of course, it's not real brick, but it looks really cool. We have adjustable shelves on the inside. Up top, we have some, um, some space in between your ceiling and your cupboard. So, you know, gonna have to dust that off every you know now and again maybe every two or three days where I live um, but taking a look over here this one of course is set up for the gas range but you can change that for electric depending on your needs as well so that's the cool thing about manufactured housing is you can change a lot of uh, options and most of them and to see those options there's a link in the description below click on that it'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can uh, see a 3d tour see some photos uh, but most importantly get that pricing directly from a retailer near you and go see this home in person right here in the middle of the hall you see is our furnace or air conditioning unit right there right here by the back door you have your um, electrical panel I do believe this one's set up for 200 uh, amp panel we're walking into the first gas room which is the smallest of the home but it's actually not too bad this one is um, 10 feet 5 inches by 7 feet 7 inches um, it's not too bad you can definitely fit a twin in here a small office or whatever you might need looking into the closet here as you see we've got a wire shelf that'll do the trick I'll tell you what and then right over here of course in a uh, single wide we have our washer and dryer setup 
right here in the middle of the hallway. It makes it convenient, I'd have to say. We have a wire shelf above, helps you store all of your stuff right there. And then let's take a look at this guest bath. Walking in, decently sized, the um, same motif on the, uh, the countertop right there is what they used in the kitchen. You have an elongated water saving uh, toilet there. And of course, your standard 60 by 30 wraparound shower tub combo that won't let any water through the back walls, which is great. So spinning around, taking a look. This is not too shabby over here. I like this. You have some storage underneath the sink, of course. That is nice. Um, we have vinyl flooring in this home. And the uh, registers, registers are coming from the floor in this home. So just to let you know, we have some nice lighting above that mirror right there. It makes it nice to get ready in the morning. And let's take a look at the other guest room over here. Now the size of this room is 9 feet 2 inches by 11 feet 6 inches. Of course it is a little longer in size and you could do a little more with it. Um, you could definitely fit a full bed in here, maybe even a queen in here. With a little bit of uh, room on the sides there. Nice big window there at the end of the home to let that natural light in. Let's see what's in the closet here. Plenty of room, plenty of storage. You have your wire shelf and then right there if I'm not mistaken, because I didn't show it, is the water access was right over there inside that closet. So that's where that is. But hey, let's go on to the other side of the home and check out the uh, primary. What do you guys think about this home so far? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the uh, comments below. And uh, what would you change with it? Would you change anything? You know, would you do anything to the exterior? Let me know. But this house, I like it so far. Leave that comment. Now, we're walking into the primary right here. And the primary size is 11 feet by 14 feet 2 inches. And again, they're using that same accent wall over there, which is a nice white kind of brick. I like that. And uh, the ever so popular cow photo painting, almost in every manufactured home I've ever seen, <laughs> there is a cow. More often than not, somewhere hanging up on these homes. But let's take a look at the uh, walk-in closet here. Nice and spacious um, all the way down. It's about four feet across. Um, and I'm not sure about the length, but gives you plenty of room. And I like that little indention right there where you can put maybe your TV, a dresser. Kind of opens up more of your living space right there. That's pretty cool. And then that accent wall goes all the way through to the, uh, to the primary bath. And right in here, you see you've got uh, two cupboards there with a drawer bank in the middle with four drawers your same elongated water saving commode and the same 60 by 30 shower uh, tub combo in here to make your life convenient. So that's pretty nice there. And then right next door to that we have some storage, some more linen storage right here, you know, just um, towels, things, toiletries, all right there. Not too shabby. I like that. And we have a few little drawers down there. That's nice, too. Four of them, as a matter of fact. So that is a pretty darn nice. Actually, I mean, this is this this primary bath is rather spacious for being a smaller, you know, uh, single wide manufactured home. I mean, this one was, you know, 1,153 square feet. Um, and at $48,000, that is not bad. That is a great price for anybody starting, especially right now with the home prices and everything else. But, you know, like I was saying, take a look at this home. Take a look at the, you know, uh, the link in the description below. Learn more about it. Go see this home in person. Learn about Dutch housing. Learn about uh, Champion Homes. And hey, visit manufacturedhomes.com and learn all about manufactured homes but thank you guys for joining me um, with my time out here in novi michigan it has been a blast i have had fun but thanks again remember to live smarter choose manufactured travel easy and have a wonderful day